All right, everybody, Baron here, and welcome back to Ravenfield. Look at this. We got landing craft. We got beaches. And you know I love my beaches. And we're going to have an amphibious invasion on said beaches. Now, when you look at the map, you're going to notice that over here on the far sides, there are naval bases. Up close are these LSTs, or landing ship, kind of like, well, I guess they're just landing ships dropping off, or cargo ships, I guess would be more appropriate, and they're dropping off these amphibious landing craft. They're gonna take that, and then when you look at the center island, we've got three capture points. In the middle is an airfield. So it's almost like a double D-Day. I'd like, to oh, lighthouse. Is that an artillery position overlooking us? Is there another one over on the other side? Nope. Looks like the, uh, Mountain on the side of Iwo Jima, though. Maybe it's a secret bunker complex. Anyway, well, yes, the first phase is to go and take the beaches via amphibious landing craft. The second will be to either use destroyers, these giant cruisers, and these flying boats, which are basically, you know, naval bombers, to have a giant naval battle and aerial battle over the island. It's gonna be incredible. Well, it looks like it's time to jump. Oh, well, I guess it's more of a, a fall. All right, boys, all aboard. Here we go. Looks like this is going to be my squad. Get on board, boys. We got places to go and people to see. Oh, that guy doesn't get it. Okay, well, we've got six spots. Look at this amphibious landing craft. It's gorgeous. I wish we could have, like, a gunner as well. But the fact that we got this at all is pretty cool. Our three amphibious landing craft are taking off. We don't have any vision of the other side of the island, but we can only assume the enemy is doing it as well. It being amphibious invasion on double D-Day. This is the part in Saving Private Ryan where you see the guy throw up and he's like, bah, bah, bah. This is really well done though. I almost wonder if you could have a hybrid first third person shooter mixed with an RTS. Like, oh my God. When I see this, my imagination catches on fire. Just like trees melting under napalm. 30 seconds till we hit the beach! Uh, I think that's sooner than 30 seconds, boss. And you're right! But we're gonna hit the beach nonetheless. Now, how do I open that door? Alright, boys, fan out. Now, in the middle of this island is the airstrip, and on it, there are torpedo-equipped... So what we're gonna wanna do... Well, I guess these guys are gonna... Where's the... I guess this up here might be the capture point. There's a flag. We want to get a beachhead. There we go. We established a beachhead here. Oh my goodness. I want to use this. Fire! <laughs> Fifth smell, you've outdone yourself. Hey, yeah, uh, sir, you're not going to be able to aim into the right spot. Anyway, we've got what looks like two heavy naval batteries and one quad anti-aircraft autocannon. They're probably like... I would guess 20 plus millimeters in diameter. So those things definitely be able to do some damage to giant flying planes like that. But before I defend the airbase, I want to skirmish for the airfield. We got some trenches, so there's a lot to fight over. It's not like you hit the beach and then you can easily take the airfield. But I love how in the last one we did of, of Smith's, Fifth Smell's maps, uh, it was a giant naval battle, and this is more of an amphibious conflict where you're fighting over the island and there's infantry engaged in landing on it as opposed to just like cruisers and destroyers fighting it out. Alright boys, expect the enemy to be around here. They do have... We've got an aerial battle happening overhead. Bombs are away, gentlemen. Oh, we just called in artillery support and it looks like the enemy team... Whoa! Watch your fire there, Billy Goat Gruff! Son of a gun! Where are they? There they are, right in his shin. I gotta aim a little higher to get those headshots we want. That was not even high enough. There we go. So you can see we're having a little bit of a long-range engagement. My soldiers, however, have stormed the beach. And it, it seems like my guys are the Americans in theme, and the enemy is more like Japanese-inspired. Kobe! All right. So now that we've uh, taken the, the airfield, I'm gonna go for... Whoa! I, I think that's the enemy plane. I don't know if we hit it. Oh my god, he's going down. Oh, one of the pilots is dead. And it crashed. All right, let's get to the torpedo bombers. It looks like we also have a fighter as well. I'm going to need a co-pilot. You look good enough 
for government work, sir. Oh, I guess I have, uh, I've got nine people following me. That's, they're not gonna all be able to fit in this plane, although it would be pretty cool. They would hold on to the wings. <laughs> so, the first skirmish here for the airfield has been completed. Doesn't look like anyone wants to be my rear gunner. Oh my god, there's the enemy's landing craft right over there. Now, I do have a torpedo, check this out. Right under there, a big old boy. This sinks ships. Now, I don't imagine... Oh, they've got an enemy any aircraft gun covering that beach right there. I'm taking some flak and hold the phone. I swear, those little guys ahead of me are landing craft. Those are the base craft that the landing craft come from. I'm not entirely sure what they're doing. And in the distance, it looks like that's either a cruiser or destroyer. But, so this is gonna be challenging. Can I destroy a Higgins boat with a torpedo? Well, let's find out. They're like ducks in a row right here. Ooh, they're turning though. All right, this is gonna be tricky. Torpedo in the water. Oh, it just missed. It just missed. Okay, we're gonna boost out of there. You can see the torpedo sailing off into the distance right here. We narrowly missed them. We're gonna have to come back around, prepare our second attack. All right, time to start winging over. I think we got a, a little bit of distance, but I guess now that I think about it, uh, the enemy, wait, I don't think we have enough distance. I'm not gonna be able to come at them down the line. Maybe I am. Never mind. But I, I would imagine our destroyers can be able to sink these things. All right, come on. Oh, it went right under it. We might not be able to hit these craft because they're too shallow and torpedoes run a little bit deeper. But it, uh, you know what? I think they're gonna try to land on our base. Well, I mean, I, I have torpedoes. Ooh, someone fired. That may have been my torpedo, actually. So here's the thing. I think he's not moving. Oh! We got a little bit close. We're gonna drop our torpedo low, which would be like more historically accurate. You'd have to drop your torpedo, oh! At a uh, lower altitude and at lower speed or else it just wouldn't work. Oh man, we're, we're dead. But I destroyed it and that's what I wanted to do. I was trying to turn around, but I was also doing evasive maneuvers. It's funny how uh, characters interact. Who's, someone's shooting at me. Oh, look at this, I didn't notice this. Near the front of this boat, it looks like, how do I get up there? Where are the stairs at? What? How did you, how did they? I'm very concerned as to how they got up there. All right, so right now I'm fishing soldiers out of the water. Uh, swimming's still a funny experience, but I picked up two fish, <laughs> stowaways, Tom Hanks is with volleyballs. All right, so we're passing, it looks, we're passing the lighthouse and it looks like there's a little beach you might be able to land on here. There's an aerial dogfight in the background, or it looks like uh, a bomber aircraft attracting some anti-aircraft fire. But me and my brave soldiers, we're gonna pass the sandbar. We're being escorted by a friendly destroyer over there, and we're gonna do a reverse D-Day. We're, we're gonna land on the beach that they're landing on. It's a terrible idea. It's interesting, though. There's a lot of these little islands. And imagine, wait, is that an enemy landing craft? It is, because their landing craft look different. It's amazing how much detail Fifth Smell has put into this game, in this, well, the, this mod, rather. So once we pass that cliff ahead of us, we're gonna see the beach. I can't tell if those are fortifications. I think so. Those are sandbags up there, guys. That's the enemy defenses right there. The landing craft are no longer ferrying soldiers to this beach. Is that a mortar? Hold on, I gotta see that. That looks like a mortar. Randomly positioned. All right, boys, everybody off. Look at this. Who left their mortar here? Oh, they're using that anti-aircraft gun. So we gotta storm this. I've got a little SMG here. This guy's got a HMG. Or maybe an LMG. A lot of MGs around here. Dead, 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 dead. All right. Peekaboo, mother truckers! All right, I need a better gun. Now, this is the beauty of configurable flags. We're the red team. So what I'm gonna do is give us the entire island. Blue is gonna have to take it, but I'm gonna be defending the beach here. So these giant naval artillery guns, when I first thought it was like, I have to be shooting at these Higgins boats. Which one is better suited? Excuse me, sir, I'm your commanding officer. You are relieved of duty, sir. All right, so you can see the Higgins boats over there. We're already firing artillery shells. I think I missed. All right, this one's moving in. I can't tell where I shot. You are relieved of duty, sir. 
I was trying to sight my shots. Oh, I think we hit that first one. I think I hit it. We're getting attacked via the air, too. And I swear these guys just want to take my gun. Get out of the way, Bill! All right, here we go. Now, it says we achieve victory, but we all know. Yeah! I destroyed a Higgins boat. All right. Oh, my God. Look how many infantry are in the water. Wait a minute. Did... Did we sink those big ships? No freaking way. Guys, I think we sank the big ships. I can't tell for certain. But it sure seems like it. Now, I obviously upped the bot number to, like, 200. The Higgins boats still spawn in, though. Okay, good. So one of the things that I can do is use an AT rifle. But as far as, like, getting my distance down, it's gonna take a little bit of trial and error. We sank one Higgins boat, but, like... Look at this, we got snipe rifles, rifles, semi-autos, MGs, the two artillery. Man, they ain't getting on this beach. Uh-oh. Big boy's coming. Alright, I hit it. Oh, never mind. I forgot all about that thing. This- this guy- INCOMING! Oh my god, dude! This guy just carpet bombed the beach! He took out the artillery gun! Look at everybody spilling over. Oh, one of them had a... Hold on. What's that? I want one of those. Oh, I know how to get one of those. Okay, so I think I have to go over here. Then I go to both. Oh, here we go. The other team has it. But you could imagine a scenario where it's like a right and proper DD, where you have, like, aerial invasion. All right, so here we go. All right, I'm gonna put this guy down. Now I've got... Oh, I've got two of them. How did that happen? Well, that's awkward. Here they come, boys. <laughs> We're trying to make more MGs. <laughs> what is this? You... One of you... Who's firing that cannon? Maybe it's an offshore ship. Probably. It definitely could be. All right, I have an idea. Now, what if we were to change it up a little bit? So if we configure the flags, but we take out the bases, so there's only the ability to fight on the island, and I've got, oh, 200 bots on this? That's gonna be crazy. Massive battle for the airfield. Whoever gets the airfield is gonna get some aircraft, and that is going to do it, because you'd have to take one of these planes and fly it back to one of the naval bases. Actually, since it's not a flag point, it won't spawn in the proper vehicle. But look at this. This is what a giant invasion looks like. I'm, I'm kind of scared to crest this hill. Oh my god, you can see them on the other side of that. They're already, they're already on their way. People are already firing. Ah, uh, all right. <laughs> Whoa, how did I get hit? All right, boys, remember, serpentine. We want to run serpentine to the flag. I'm, I'm just hoping that all my friends are behind me. Okay, if this guy's here, he's obviously the fastest in class. And we're almost to the flag. If we can take this... Oh my gosh! I got taken out right there and just look at this! So now we're gonna go into battle simulator mode. So 200 bots are gonna spawn out of this one flag point. My gosh, man. And here it is in slow motion. This is what I like to call battle simulator mode. Which is basically just... Third person god, well not third person, it's god viewing in a way. So this is what the airfield looks like. You can see there's the barracks, there's the hangars, there's a, a fuel bunker, and I'm not sure if those are like officers or quarters. Here's the command tower, which is very modest. Granted, it is World War II technology. And here's the flag point that they're going to be going for, so let's see. Oh my god. Oh, those are bushes. I was like, that is a billion men right there. It's fun how they spread out though. Like ants. Reminds me of Empires of the Undergrowth. Should we play that? What if we should take a quick look back at Empires of the Undergrowth, see if there's been an update, or maybe fight some giant bugs with an army? Oh, man. Oh, man. It's, it's amazing. Like, look at that. Oh, dude, the first person on the leftward team got taken out. I'm not seeing too many guys on the right getting dropped yet, but they're definitely closing ranks, and look at this, man. And we can go slow-mo if we want. Oh, shoot! Someone took the flag. It looks like the red team, so they're gonna be able to operate this anti-aircraft gun, which would be huge. But from doing that, it also spawns in the planes. I want to see if anybody makes a, a break for the plane. Oh my gosh, someone has a flamethrower out. The flag's exchanging hands. Nobody's going for the aircraft? 
That's like the first thing I would do. Run for the plane, see what I couldn't make happen. And at this point, the teams are just like running away from each other. The uniforms are kind of, you have to look at it right. Look at this. That's called close quarters combat. The flag is just going up and down non-stop. Nothing is stopping it. I think that was a mortar shell I just saw fired. All oh, those are Molotov cocktails. That's what it is. I'm not sure if anyone has a flamethrower. Now, what is this building? Looks like some old, like, colonial-looking fort or bell tower, I guess. And, dude, but this way, these giant artillery guns are not able to be used. So anyway, ladies and gentlemen, this has been the battle where I'd like to call it Double D-Day. When you look at the map, there's a lot of possibilities. But one of the things that I want to do is see what the landing craft of this nation are, look like. Oh, wow. Look at those. I feel like I jumped too deep. It takes me forever to get to the surface. These look like more, more like motorboats. All right, boys, so... Oh, and, the, and the, the units sit here. So we're one infantry unit short, but... I want to see what it's like. Look at that, man. The Like, I guess these are going to be similar in, in style or... Uh, essence to, like, the Japanese Daihatsu landing craft used in World War II. Hold the phone. One of the landing craft didn't even take off. He's still back there. That one's doing some detours. We just passed over a little uh, sandbar. You can see the coloration changes in the water. You definitely know it's getting more shallow. Now, what happens if I just continue going? <laughs> we just need the amphibious tanks too. What? Oh, I guess I don't have a squad. What do you get out of the boat? All right, I've got them on follow. We're gonna take this first flag and go for the airfield. Try to get it as fast as possible. The second boat is about to hit the beach. I oh, never mind. That's the third. Okay, good. I was worried. We'll take this and then we're gonna make a run for the airfield. We're gonna get a torpedo bomber. We're gonna torpedo their ship that is basically directing all of the Higgins boats. We got the anti-aircraft gun up, the quad 25 we'll call it. I got my spec ops soldiers here. We got the second wave of regular infantry behind us. But there's an enemy plane looking like it wants to go on a bombing run. Oh, our plane just called in a bombing run. Now I've got to avoid those bombs. This is going to be bad. Oh, that second wave looks like it might get hit. Oh my gosh. We missed the first wave though. And they missed us. All right, so now we're gonna get in the plane here and torpedo bomb. All right, everybody defend that airfield. Hold on, hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right. The fighter takes off on the left airfield. We take off on the right. Luckily, there's no infantry that are in... that can fire on us. He's winging over. Let's wing over. We're going in formation, boys. I don't see any landing craft just yet. They've taken the airfield. We got to watch out for any aircraft fire and artillery fire. You never know. They could get really lucky with one of those artillery shots. All right. I'm going to try to drop a torpedo on this guy's face. Oh, it went right through it, man. Oh, I disabled myself with a torpedo. All right. Well, guys, this has been another amazing mod by Fifth Smell. Uh, he made an announcement that he's no longer going to be able to do mods. So this is how I feel when I hear that. I feel like I'm just, I got shoved out of a plane. Cause he made some of the most amazing maps I've ever seen. And that's my torpedo that actually missed and then hit that. So that's perfect. My plane is burning and flying and doing cartwheels, flipping, tail over end. But you know what guys? Just want to say thank you for watching another video. Let me know if you'd like to see more Ravenfield and what mods and maps you'd like to see next. A big salute and thank you to everything Fifth Smell's done for the modding community of this game. And I'll see you guys in the next one.